Hi and welcome to another video. This is Mike and I'm going to show you how to compress thousands of images quickly. So one of my clients is a WordPress site and they're trying to get their site uh, performance to improve and I've taken a number of steps already but one of the more obvious steps is to take all of the imagery and artwork across the website and to compress the artwork. Now the site has over 20,000 images inside their images folder which is obviously a heck of a lot of work to do if you're going to manually take each image into Photoshop or your favorite image processing tool and then compress it and resave it and re-upload it. You can imagine doing 20,000 images it's probably going to take a lifetime. So I have found a great tool and I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce the name of this tool but it is called Cesium. C-A-E-S-I-M. So I'm not sure exactly how you say that word but um, it's, a, it's a great tool and once you've downloaded it and installed it what you can do is um, ultimately select file, open folder and you can navigate to a folder of images and then you can ultimately click on the sil uh, this little options preferences uh, button and as long as you click scan subdirectories when you open a folder all the images within the folders and subfolders that you've selected will get added to this list of images to compress. Now um, if you tick keep structure on the right and then select an output folder what it's going to do is create a like for like folder structure in your output folder with all the compressed images in which is fantastic. The only other thing I would say to you is to stick with the default of 80% quality and click same for all on that little checkbox and then when it asks you what format that you want to format the compressed image into because we don't want to convert the image from one file format to another what you should do is select import from that box there. If you don't do that it's going to convert all your images into JPEGs. Even if you've got a PNG file, it's going to convert it to a JPEG. And when you re-upload it back to your website, it's obviously not going to use the compressed image because the file name will have changed and a reference in your HTML will be referencing the original image. So we want to overwrite the original image, which is ultimately the, uh, the, the step we want to take. Now, as you can see, this uh, here is processing through a list of 20,474 images and you can see the green bar status moving along as it's going ahead. So what I want to draw your attention to is this here ratio So uh, and the original size and new size, um, albeit I'm not going to stop this from moving and you can probably not really focus on any of these items. What you'll see generally speaking is minus 16%, minus 40%, minus 20%, minus 67% um, and all the um, images that are coming up uh, with a minus number that basically means that the image has been reduced in file size by that amount and generally speaking for larger images you will see bigger benefits in the compressed image and obviously this uh, shaves off a lot of page loading time especially for larger images and so is a step well worth taking um, I'm gonna do another video shortly after this is finished this is gonna probably run for the next hour or so um, after I've uploaded the images I'm gonna send you a comparison um, report and show you how long the page took to load to begin with in comparison to how long it took the page to load after I optimized the images. So this has got a lot of benefits um, other than just page load time. You can expect uh, an improvement in website performance to also have an impact on your search engine rankings, which is ultimately why most people uh, are motivated to, to um, improve their site performance. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now, let you watch this for a couple more seconds and then end this video. Thank you for watching.